Mr. Jensen, how was this concert for you? Oh, beautiful. I mean, just to be now, I was like an audience in the concert and to finally, you know, be there together, listening so intense with everybody. That's mm -hmm. amazing. I mean, touching. And uh, the work uh, from uh, Madame Gubaidolina, was it a surprise for you? Yeah, well, I, I, I met her actually in a festival in Norway. Great. Uh, and she's a very interesting uh, woman, and I, I think it's so important that we have these fantastic, great female composers. Uh, and uh, for me, that was like uh, the surprise of the evening. I really enjoyed that, that work. It brought yeah. me into the special atmosphere. and. Also with the tape and the light or something, something completely yeah. different. You play uh, many contemporary music, you told me. So, mm. um, uh, can you tell us uh, what are the most played composers uh, in uh, Norway? Mm. I mean, we have a guy called uh, Anne Nogheim, who recently, I mean, he died, I think it's five years ago or something. And then we have, um, of course, the one piece I'm going to play tomorrow is uh, Marcus Paus. Actually, yes. he's 41 and he's very, very popular. Great. Also writing for concert, but also film music. So, um, yeah, I would say that's... Uh, and of course, we play a lot of the composers, you know, Lutzwaski and yeah. all this. Yeah. But I mean, that's a bit older now. So, yeah. Great. Um, how was for you the meeting in Yash here? I mean, this incredible building. <laughs> This culture, what you call it, uh, I mean, it's a cultural palace. I mean, it's incredibly beautiful, and I'm just yeah, mind blown of the of the room and the, the art, and you know, it's it's like being on the most beautiful castle. So. <laughs> what was the best acoustics uh, you played in? Mm, I played in Luxembourg in the concert hall. There is amazing because what I love is that it's a very big room. But you can play so soft and you can still hear it. So that's one of my favorite halls. Great. But, uh, I'm also looking forward to to play to try these halls and see how. Okay. You told me the best uh, place for edu music education it's Norway because it's free. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> don't know if it's the best, but uh, it's it's a good place to be because everybody can study. You know, it doesn't cost a lot of money. So because you you uh, were in the states uh, yeah. for uh, learning yeah. uh, in uh, Switzerland, yeah. and then you have to pay to get scholarship. Yeah, that can also work. But I I like that this. It's kind of free, you know, and, uh, and then you can even have a Great. loan at the state. Uh, and then if you manage to do your education, a lot of that loan goes into a scholarship. So. Would you play uh, together with uh, another people from here? <laughs> yeah, I would play with a um, violinist, uh, a violist. He's, they, he's playing in the orchestra. Yes, yes. Doru. Uh, yeah, and, um, and of course, uh, Dragos, I'm playing with. Mm -hmm. um, so I, that I'm also looking very for. But tomorrow I'm playing with the South Korean pianist. Yeah. Too. How did you find Enesco work? Oh, Enesco, I mean, he <laughs> it's so romantic. Such, um, <laughs> I love it. And also thinking how wonderful violinist he was. Truly great violinist. I mean, his compositions are so good too. Yesterday we played this uh, work that's very young, Enesco. Yeah. But uh, In, from the youth. Quite, uh, you know, deep. I hope you will play something I will, I will <laughs> more. You know, go more into an escape after this experience. Great. Yeah, thank you so much, and it's a pleasure to be here. And uh, yeah, hope to come back.